Okay, and welcome back to the Jamie Ross Show. I'm joined in studio today with Fred Profeta. Many of you know Fred from being on the Township Committee and Mayor of Maplewood for several years, I would say. Four to be exact. Four years, and uh, we're here to talk about the no damn signs. And we were expecting to talk a little bit more about how you can get a sign or get involved or what's going on. And um, we just had some news recently, about 50 minutes ago now. Uh, can you fill us in on the latest? Or, or for those people who don't know what it's about, um, it was a 850-foot-long, uh, 70-foot-high dam uh, proposed in the reservation. So mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about the project and what today's news was. Okay. Is. So a little history okay. to start. Um, this is all about flooding on the Royway River downstream, primarily in Union County and primarily in Cranford, which suffered some really severe damage in Hurricane Irene and other, other storms too. But that was the big uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. And so Congress authorized a study uh, for the purposes of deciding what, what could be done to mitigate that. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't only Cranford, it was Milburn, Union, Springfield, other places too. Um, that was several years ago. Um, the, the, the focus was always on what are we going to do in Cranford? Um, there came into being, no one's quite sure how, mm -hmm. a group called the Mayor's Council. Um, it's primarily composed of mayors of Essex and Union County, but dominated by Union County and dominated by Cranford and, it's, and a former mayor of Cranford. These fellas thought it would be a nice idea if the problem were pushed upstream a little. Wouldn't it be great okay. if there were a dam in the South Mountain Reservation we could hold back in times of a great big storm, fill up a big detention basin, and keep that water there, and then just let it out slowly so it reached Cranford at a right. very nice pace. Fine. Yeah. Only problem was it would wreck the reservation. Right. Uh, but the Army Corps of Engineers, which is in resp was responsible for this, they are, they're the ones that build flood mitigation things in this country, um, was listening to this mayor's council. Mm -hmm. um, and so they put this idea on the table. Well. We found out about it, we, the group, this leadership group that formed this, this organization, Save Our Reservation, uh, in February. And we started this organization in February 22. And um, we made a lot of difference. <laughs> right, right. So uh, what, what happened was, on March 31st, in New York City, the Army Corps of Engineers um, gave a presentation in mm -hmm. which they said, here's 10 alternative ways uh, that we can take care of this. Three of them are pretty cost efficient. One of those is the dam. Right. Uh, why don't you mayor's council fellows uh, think about this and come back to us and tell us which one you want us to, to take to the next level, that being an environmental study. Mm -hmm. So since that time, there's been a lot of back and forth. And yesterday, uh, the mayor's council met and uh, after a few speeches uh, by some people, myself included, voted, surprisingly, unanimously to take the dam option off the table. Okay. And to leave on there two other options which uh, involve uh, uh, the Orange Reservoir in the reservation and some channel work uh, and other work in Cranford. Okay. So, so and so where were we on the priority list of, of the dam actually happening? I mean, how, how close was it? Well, they had these 10 alternatives and they did a cost-benefit analysis. And uh, there were three that passed the cost-benefit analysis test. That is to say, flood mitigation benefits which exceeded the cost of constructing whatever mm -hmm. needed to be constructed. Right. One of those was the dam. Uh, the, the reason we, we worried about it a lot was because most of the people who were listening to this were Union County right. mayors who uh, certainly preferred that the solution <laughs> be somewhere else. Sure, yeah. 
And and it when it came out, it sounded like such an unreal possibility. Yeah. It seemed like a joke. Yeah. When when we first heard it, I mean, this thing is immense. It has has this sort of thing? Has there been any similar situation where where a dam of this size was built to mitigate a surrounding you know? Oh sure. Town issue. There have been yeah. dams like this built all around the country, but mm -hmm. for the most part, the Army Corps of Engineers is taking down dams these days, not putting them up. Uh huh. And by the way, this yeah. was not a dam that would create a lake. This was a dam that would create a detention basin. So mm -hmm. the idea was that in times of a gr impending storm, you right. close the, you put a cork in in the dam, sure. and the, so the river couldn't run through it anymore. And now mm -hmm. it would fill up behind it. Right. Right. And that was going to flood 110 acres, right. uh, about a mile up the river, uh, all the way to Hemlock Falls. Um, and the problem with this is, is that that puts all those trees underwater. Right. And so when you let the water out again after the storm, let it out slowly, everything's been flooded and it's eventually going to die. Yeah. So you'd have to clear cut this whole area. And it was going to look atrocious. That's unreal. And, and it would take out the, the road too. And took out, would take out Brookside Drive. Yeah. yeah and yeah. put that traffic on Wyoming <laughs> and on Old Short Hills Road. Yeah. And then I think it was also talked about that you know, how much of an impact would this have really had uh, on Cranford? I think only a certain percentage of the water that was affecting their flooding came from this area. Yes, that, yeah. yes. Uh, that, that's a little bit of a mystery. I mean, it, we, we calculated the, that the water f from the South Mountain Reservation that actually reaches Cranford is only 22% of the water that gets to Cranford. And yet, the Army mm -hmm. assured us that this was a very efficient way of handling flooding in Cranford. Huh. They never would let us see their numbers. Yeah, yeah. The Army's funny that way. <laughs> <laughs> huh. So, so right now, we're in the clear. Is there much of a concern? Well, here's mm -hmm. the thing. Um, the Army is the federal government. And the Army Corps of Engineers does have jurisdiction over major waterways uh, in the United States. They have the power of eminent domain and uh, uh, jurisdiction really by reason of the Constitution. So they could, if they wanted to, simply say, you know, we've thought about it and Mayor's Council, you were fine, but you know what? Uh, in our esteemed view, we think what we really need is a dam. Yeah. As a practical matter, is that going to happen? I don't think so, because um, they don't like to do stuff in the face of overwhelming public opinion mm -hmm. to the contrary. And on March 31st, when they made their presentation in New York, which I attended, um, in response to a question of mine, actually, they said, look, as a practical matter, if you assemble enough public support opposition and political opposition to a project it just doesn't happen oh yeah yeah so, so we don't think we don't think at this point uh, it could it, it could reverse right and then if you do this situ if you solve the problem here you might push upstream again yes. you yeah. know so yeah. uh, and and also it's, um, Milburn actually does have that small dam in their uh, by the recreation center that they let out when, uh, right. when the, so on a small scale you can see uh, how that works. But uh, well, I, I'm glad, and I think everyone's happy that's not happening yet. And uh, if it does, we'll all get ready to get ready. rally around and put the signs back sign. up. <laughs> Don't throw the signs out yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, other than that, um, I just wanted to mention uh, we have Green Day coming up. Yes. Uh, that's, when is that, May, early May? I have the date. <laughs> we have the date. It's early May. It's on Maple down line. Whoops. So, Whoops. So, I don't uh, have the date. I haven't right. got my date for a I'll put it on this page. Just take a look down and, and you'll see it there. So, so anyway, no damn good news. Uh, thanks, Fred, for letting us know. And, uh, my pleasure. And, and keeping the damn away. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh. 
And uh, thanks for watching, and, and we'll keep you updated if there is any news on Maple Online. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Shane. All right, thank you. Bye. All right, cool. Cool. Okay. So th this is where the theme song might play, and it this hey, is it's Jamie. Come on in and take a seat for a while with me. Yeah, Jamie. We could just fall the time to take for a while. You know it doesn't really matter for your life for a while, cause you can try to find an end to decide. Every little thing is gonna bomb over. Stay a while, stay a while with Jamie.